This is Diana Didamore with ESRI in Redlands, California. Pirate attacks in the Gulf of Aden off the coast of Somalia and Yemen are making big news with 60 known incidences in the region so far this year alone. Somali pirates boarded the Ukrainian merchant vessel Faina with its cargo of Soviet-made tanks and heavy weapons on September 25th and took the 20-member crew hostage. NATO is sending ships to the region to deter piracy and protect food shipments to famine-ravaged Somalia. A United Nations program, UNISAT, posts maps online that paint a fascinating picture of piracy. Joshua Lyons, a Geographic Information Systems Analyst for UNISAT, creates these maps using a wide variety of data with ESRI's ArcGIS software. Listeners may be interested to view the maps at the UNISAT website, www.unisat.org. Joshua is joining me today from his office in Geneva, Switzerland to share some background on the maps. Josh, thanks so much for taking time to speak with me today. Mm, thank you. Can you briefly describe UNISAT and explain why you undertook the project of mapping piracy in the Gulf of Aden? Uh, UNISAT is the, the Operational Satellite Applications Program within UNITAR, which is the UN Institute for Training and Research, and we provide GIS and remote sensing support and analysis within the UN system and to the broader humanitarian community. And although piracy has been an issue for Somalia for nearly 20 years, it's really only become a, a significant problem in relationship to the UN um, and to the relief operations since 2005, when the World Food Program, which is the UN agency responsible for delivering vital food aid, had two of their vessels hijacked. And then they've had several other vessels hijacked in subsequent years. And that was really the starting point when we wanted to start to address uh, this issue cartographically and within a, uh, to provide a spatial analysis and satellite support for their, for their work. The first map that you made uh, was titled Reported Incidents of Pirate Attacks and Hijackings Off the Coast of Somalia, at which you posted this March. Details known incidences and suspicions of pirate activity in the region from January through December 2007. What were you hoping to learn by creating this map? And how did having the map impact efforts to respond to piracy in the region? Mm -hmm. we, we had been following, as I mentioned, we've been following the piracy issue since 2005, and we had produced some prototype maps before then. However, the issue um, became much more relevant in, in 2007 uh, immediately following the Ethiopian intervention against the Islamic-based government uh, in Mogadishu, the Union of Islamic Courts. And during their brief rule um, in the latter half of 2006, they had, um, under many accounts, successfully suppressed most of the pirate activity following their, uh, their overthrow and the Ethiopian um, occupation of Somalia. The, the piracy rates, in fact, started to dramatically and uh, alarmingly grow, and this became um, a, a new concern. And this was something that I think that was quite clearly illustrated in, in the maps that we were producing at that time, that there was a, a, a sharp increase both in the pirate activity and then more broadly over the entire horn. Um, in, in terms of how they were used, I think that the primary strength of the maps was to give um, an, an overall situational awareness of exactly what was happening. There are many other maps that, uh, online that do basic types of, of pirate-related activities, but what we were trying to do was combine the security issues at, on land with those on sea and start to make some linkages that I think that, that hadn't been made before. And so it was, in, in that context, I think the maps gave a more, uh, a more useful and, and overall um, understanding for different types of uh, officers within national governments and also for humanitarian agencies. If listeners would like to view Josh's maps, please go to www.unisat.org. To keep up to date on future podcasts, subscribe by RSS. Email questions or comments to us at info at ESRI.com. ESRI, better decisions through modeling and mapping our world.